This is an image of a Communist Party official having sex with an 18-year-old prostitute. We can't show the video, it's simply too explicit. But she's a gift from a construction company in return for contracts, a common way of doing business in China. The story aired on state TV after the video was posted online last month by citizen journalist Zhu Rei Fung, founder of the website Supervision by the People. As a journalist, I will report the truth, he tells me. Most media in China are a mouthpiece for the party. My responsibility is not to the party, but to the truth. Within hours of the video being uploaded, it went viral. Three days later, the Chongqing district official was sacked. Since the founding of the People's Republic of China, this is the first time an official has been taken down so quickly after being exposed, he says. We contacted the official and the Chongqing government. Both declined to comment. This is a victory for Mr. Zhu, who now receives thousands of emails with information on corrupt officials. But this work is not without its risks. He's exposed more than 100 party members and received dozens of death threats. Here in China, controversial websites are either blocked or shut down, which is what makes Zhu Feng's story so fascinating. For years, his network has struggled to exist. Now he's not only allowed to operate, but officials are offering him police protection. This dramatic shift in the government's stance follows last month's warning from China's newly appointed leader, Xi Jinping. Corruption could kill the party and ruin the country, he told the 18th Party Congress. A similar message was delivered eight years ago by then-Premier Wen Jiaobao. But Xi Jinping is sticking to his word. More than a dozen low-ranking officials have already been sacked over corruption charges. The most significant scalp, a senior party member from Sichuan province. Several corrupt officials have been taken from their posts since the party congress, he says. But if they're serious about cracking down on corruption, there must be real reform in the political system. And people seem to agree. It's not just the system, it's rooted in Chinese culture, says this woman. I see little hope for change. It's so common among officials, the government always says it will crack down, but nothing will be different. In the meantime, Mr. Zhu plans to keep on doing what he does best, exposing those in the party who believe they're above the law. Well, Mr. Zhu is in possession of four other videos that show officials having sex with prostitutes. Now, we're unable to show you these because Mr. Zhu is yet to verify it, but I can certainly tell you they're very explicit. And very damning, which can only mean anxious days lie ahead for China's corrupt officials. Anna Corrin, CNN.